Hey internet, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a brand new unboxing video with a company I've never tried before. You guys know that I religiously unbox Zenpop, Simply Gilded and Kawaii Box and Kawaii Box has always been kind of a hit and miss for me. Some months I love it, some months I'm like eh. And it's always tough because I know that a lot of people love to watch those unboxings as well so I really don't want to get rid of content that people enjoy, that would be kind of silly. But I thought I would throw another box in the mix for a while see if I like it, see if other people like it, and yeah, let's just get right into it. So this particular box, just see if I can get the name here, is called Inku from Japan Crate. It is supposed to be a stationary box from Japan. Yeah, let's see what it's like. All right, May. Oh, there it is, Inku. That's cute. I think it's a play on the word, like the English word ink. So this is the booklet that explains everything in here so I'll put that aside and let's start off with some stickers oh, like uh, paper stickers of different parrots I don't think there's a theme for this month is there no a lot of the other boxes will have themes but I can't see a theme name for this box so I think it's maybe just a random box of stuff and then we have a Sanrio pen I think this comes in a set, like this, like you can tell that it's been t ripped off a bunch of other um, pens here. I don't know if it's a set or that's just how it comes, but we'll try this at the end of the video. And then we have sticker flakes. Interesting. Let's open this up so we can have a better look. Okay. Oh, these are... I don't know if I've seen stickers like this before in in sense that they're on like a clear backing that um, has how do you say, it bleeds off the edge so you can actually peel it quite easily because all the other ones I have, you kind of have to like fiddle with it until you can peel the sticker off. I don't know if I'm making any sense. Hopefully I'm making a little bit of sense. These are all really just cute random stickers. I don't know if it's any particular series or theme. i got the same one here. Um, yeah, they're just, they seem random to me, but they're cute. And then we have some really cute washi tape. I think this is what the washi tape looks like. It's like these little bears or rabbits in tutus. Let's open this up. Hopefully, I just moved the camera a little bit to see if I could... I just don't want the washi to be like directly in the light because it kind of blows it out, but you can kind of see the design. Yeah, it's a mixture of bears and rabbits and like little cute tutus. That's cute. And oh, I think I've gotten this one before in a Zempa box. It's Mount Fuji post-it notes and then a bunch of Mount Fuji paper clips. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I already got this one. I might give this to Violet. Violet and me are like... We are both completely obsessed with Japan and anything Japanese and since I already have this I think she'd appreciate it so yeah I'll put that aside but when eventually I see her I haven't seen Violet in probably two months now because we've been quarantining slash isolation and she also has like a lot of health issues so I really don't want to see her for as long as humanly possible because I just don't want her to get sick it would honestly break my heart and kill me if she got sick so yeah but we chat a lot online, so that's all good. Why does this feel familiar? I feel like I may have something similar. I have to like go through all my old plan of me's to see because I, I can't quite remember, but I think I may have gotten this in a kawaii box unboxing video. Although I thought it was a normal, um, I thought it was a, like a normal notebook. This particular notebook, you can see it's a bit puffy here. And it's actually whiteboard paper or sticker paper. I think you could go either way on this. I'm not really sure. Uh, no, it's a sticker book. All right, so this says it's a sticker book. I don't know. I have notebooks that kind of are the same consistency, and I tend to use it for wipe. Like I use it like a whiteboard where I'll use a marker on it and then rub it out. But that's just more for work if I'm taking notes or want to sketch things out to people. But yeah, sticker book. Okay, I don't think I have this one. It feels familiar, but I don't think I have it, which is a really cool concept. And then it's just the last thing. Yes, it is a letter set. A very cute letter set. You can kind of get a better look here. Well, you got the envelope and you've got some paper with a little dog. And then all these stickers to seal the letter set up. Just before we start, finish the video, I said I would try this pen, so give me two seconds. Okay, we're back. And so it is a... Looks like a ballpoint pen, but let's give it a shot. Yep. It's definitely a normal black ballpoint pen. It feels like it might be 0 0.4, 0 0.4, I don't know. It doesn't say anywhere. 
So it makes me feel like this is really more a novelty pen than a like serious pen, if that makes sense. And I tend to like like serious pens a little bit better, but it's still very cute. Yeah, so that's pretty much everything in the Inku box. What do you guys think? I am like okay with it. I like some of it, but then I'm also like some of it is a little young for me. The sticker book was like probably not something I would personally use. I like this pen, especially because I'm a big fan of Sanrio, but I also, I generally prefer the more serious pens. I don't even know how to classify it. Like there's like fun pens and there's serious pens. I generally like serious pens more. I have signed up for three to six months, I can't remember. So we'll see how we go, but I'm I'm really curious to know what you guys think. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching. This is Selena reporting from my room. Back to internet. Mm -hmm.